Sad news in the world of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu today and in the world in general. A Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu competitor, one of the greatest to ever do it, Leandro Lowe, was murdered this morning at a club in Brazil. <laughs> Uh, Off-duty military police officer approached Leandro Lowe's table and took a glass of alcohol off their table and then began making gestures towards the group. Leandro Lowe took the off-duty military police officer down, mounted him, told him to stop screwing around and to leave. Allegedly after this, the off-duty military police officer said, yeah, yeah, I'm done, I went to leave immediately shot Leandro Lowe in the head where he was later pronounced brain dead and died in the hospital. Very tragic when you have someone who's 33 years old, a competitive nightmare, like someone who's crafted these skills with their body, just killed, just gone like that instantly with a gun. And that's why it's so important to not get involved physically with anyone. If you do get involved physically with someone, you're holding them for police. It's like you've done a citizen's arrest. If it's not gotten to that point where you need to do that, then just walk away, ignore it. Call the security to deal with them. Call the police to deal with them. Because the reality is, and this is in no way victim blaming Leandro. He did nothing wrong as far as the story says. He did absolutely nothing wrong. But the reality is there's bad people in this world and there's nothing more dangerous than a bruised ego, nothing. So if you are in a place of alcohol, which is a very dangerous place, you have a combination of alcohol, you have weapons, and you have testosterone, and you have bruised egos, it's a recipe, a recipe for a violent disaster. So. I'm just saying this because Leandro Lodin deserved to die. Neither do you. Neither do all, all the people that train jiu-jitsu or all the people in general. If you're out with your buddies at a bar, walk away. Should you have to walk away if the guy's being an asshole? No, you should be able to mount him, tell him to smarten up and get the fuck out of here. 100% you should be able to do that. But that is not the reality of the world, whether we like it or not. You look at that recent example of that stabbing in England where a father got stabbed in the throat over a, a dumb dispute between groups. A 20-year-old man accused of a brutal stabbing murder in Fortitude Valley in the early hours of Monday has had his matter mentioned in court. Confronting footage has been widely shared, showing the moment a 24-year-old died, with police today begging people not to carry knives. Sparring, jabbing the air, then a fatal wound is inflicted. Stabbed in the throat during a fight, didn't expect there to be a weapon. Stabbed in the throat, he was unconscious within five seconds and dead. 100% dead within 45 seconds. You get an arterial bleed in your neck, it's over. Instantly, your life is gone and that's it. Should you be able to just fight and not worry about getting stabbed? 100%. But that is not the reality of the world. You, if you've ever seen this uh, video, I really suggest you watch it. I'll post the link. It's a lab Bible. It's called something like uh, One Punch Killer. About this guy who got in a fight with his mates in England and he punched a guy, didn't think anything of it, and a month later found out he killed the guy. The pain that the other person's mum would be feeling. And now he's living with like immense regret. So it doesn't even have to be a weapon. <clears throat> it could be a punch and you're dead. But what that video has in common too is they're in a bar, they're drinking, testosterone's going. And Leandro Lowe, I mean, by all accounts, he lived life to the fullest. He lived probably a more lived more than most of us have even lived, who've lived longer than because he lived each day to the fullest, which is what you should do. But at the same time, just be cautious, guys. I don't want anything to happen to anybody. Just there's stupid people out there, people that make mistakes. There's truly evil people out there, and there's people 
with bruised egos out there. And even if you could beat that guy a million times out of one, or a million times to one, it's not worth it for that one chance that maybe he pulls out something, maybe his buddy shows up or whatever. It's just not worth it. Prove yourself in the ring, prove yourselves in the mats, prove yourself in the in the cage with your partners. On the street, okay man, have the drink, go tell security. It's, it's super unfortunate. So um, my condolences go out of course to the Brazilian Jiu Jitsu community. But more importantly, Leandro's family. Rest in peace, Leandro. Thank you for the memories. And I'm glad that we have tons and tons of content online to watch. And his memory will live in that content and in his Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu and through all the great things we've heard about. Thank you.